previously on Ad Guys. We must adapt and embrace. We both really want that VP spot. <laughs> at UConn Media. This next job will be so easy. Pro-drug PSAs. Aimed at kids. You have what it takes to make it, son. Back your things. You're moving upstairs. I'm here in a local neighborhood where every child within sight seems to be under the influence of one illicit substance or another. I don't know how my daughter got her hands on crack. She's probably the last person in the world who needs it, though. Crack, marijuana, even steroids. Sir, excuse me, uh, how did you get that black eye? Fell down the stairs. And it all seems to stem from an ad campaign targeting children. Hair? Owen! Heroin! A campaign reportedly conceived by two employees at Stillwater Yukon Advertising. <laughs> this is bad. This is incredible! Who knew children could be manipulated so easily? You, sir, are an advertising savant! I'll bet that notebook's already full of ideas for the next great pro-drug campaign, isn't it, Johnson? The next one? Of course! Anyway, I'll leave it to your brilliance. Enjoy that view, Johnson. Relish it. So, after I deliver mail to the 23rd floor, I deliver mail to the 24th floor. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I deliver mail to the 20. Richards, I need to speak with you. Really? What if someone sees you talking to the likes of me? It's a desperate situation, so I'll have to take that chance. Leave us mail, boy. All right. Later, guys. Richards, we underestimated our marketing prowess, and now civilization is crumbling around us. I had no idea we were this good. But we are. And with great power comes great responsibility. Richards, I have an idea. An idea that could undo all the evil that we've created. But it's just an idea. It needs presentation. This could cost you your promotion. Yes, but I've learned something. You see, I used to think that promotion was the most important thing in the world. But now I see that keeping children off of crack is also fairly important. I just don't think I could ever learn to trust you again. Trust me. No. Trust me. No. Trust me. I've become open to the possibility. We've been through a lot together, Richards. The Sherman presentation. The Richardson presentation. The Sigworth presentation. We do make a great team. And we lost sight of that, Richards. We lost sight of it and adapted to that dog-eat-dog -dog environment. But I propose we adapt to a new environment, Richards. A dog, love dog environment. We must adapt and embrace and embrace. Come, Richards. With our godlike marketing skills, we must save the children. Rox the Rhino is dead from an apparent overdose. I spoke with the men who found his lifeless body just hours ago. So I'm walking down this alleyway, much like I am right now, and I happen to find Rox dead on the ground. Oh, he wasn't dead yet. That's, yeah, he wasn't dead uh, yet. He still had to give us this note. Yes, he was still able to give us his death note. Uh, recanting all the drug-related messages he'd spouted earlier. And he also asked us to read it. Uh, dear children of the world, I, Rox, am so sorry. I won't burden the viewers with the details of this outrageously verbose note, but it was very apologetic. I imagine that such a note could do quite a lot to curb the rampant drug use plaguing our city. <laughs> well, from a marketing standpoint, this is all actually quite exciting. Brilliant, even. You see, hypothetically, let's say someone planned Rox's death. I'm not saying it happened, but if it did, why, that would be an incredible idea <laughs> to get children off drugs. And Rox's body positioning, the scattered pills, the note, hypothetically, that'd be great presentation skills. <laughs> and hypothetically, if someone had the foresight to know that Rox's death would create the kind of media frenzy that it has? Uh, free publicity! Huh. Why that, ladies and gentlemen, would exemplify truly godlike marketing skills.
Yeah. So our boss started dropping science on us. He started saying things like, uh, puppets don't have throats. How could a puppet ingest pills, let alone die? Basically like, implying that we set this whole thing up. Which we didn't. And it's like, who, who are you, boss? A zoologist? A freaking puppeteer scientist? I mean, I, mean, I figured the mailroom boy might have had our backs. Uh, turns out he hates us. Yeah, should have been nicer to that guy. Anyway, we've decided to start our own advertising agency. Yes. One that only advertises good, wholesome things. You know, let's start that agency right now. Sounds like a plan, friend. Boom shaka tak, bubble in a frock. Listen, look at Gokka, you're dead, pant that up. Boom shaka tak, bubble in a frock. Listen, look at Gokka, you're dead, pant that up. Malik, lick, lick, lick shot. Licky, 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 lick, lick shot. Malik, lick, lick, lick shot. Licky, 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 lick, lick shot. Boom shaka tak, bubble in a frock. Listen, look at Gokka, you're dead, pant that up. Boom shaka tak, boom shaka tak.